Page, Arizona is a fairly young city and it was established as a dam camp. The workers of the dam, the Glen Canyon Dam, stayed here and established the city and it is a lot different today than when it started. Page is located just below the Utah border and there's a lot of things you can do and explore from here. So let's start with the closest thing and that would be Horseshoe Bend. Horseshoe Bend is part of the Glen Canyon and is just north of the Grand Canyon. It's a three quarter mile hike that will take you to the edge of the canyon where you can get a beautiful view of the Colorado River a thousand feet below your feet. Number two on the list is Upper and Lower Antelope Canyons. 90% of the people that visit Page come to see Antelope Canyon. But there's a lot more than just upper and lower. Every time I visit, there's new canyons. Canyon X, Rattlesnake Canyon, Owl Canyon, and now Mystical Antelope Canyon. These slot canyons are a great experience. I highly recommend it, but they're busy. So if you can't get into upper or lower, try one of the other ones. It's a very similar experience. The photography is amazing, and it is something that you'll never forget. Number three, drive out to Armstrong Point. This is about one and a half hours away from Page and a 4x4 vehicle is required. You need four wheel drive with high clearance. It is a very bumpy road that leads to the viewpoint that's said to have the best views of Lake Powell. I went there at the end of 2021 and the water levels were fairly low. The view was still amazing, but after the winter we just had, I'm pretty sure the water level is going to be coming up again. And the best thing is I had the whole place to myself. Coming in at number four is White Pockets, and a four wheel drive is required. Located about two and a half hours from Page in the Vermilion Cliffs National Monument, White Pocket has amazing rock formations and it is something that you would imagine the lunar surface to look like. Once you arrive at the end, it's a very short hike, and then you get to explore this area at your own pace. It is beautiful. If you come after it rains, you'll have pools of water that just look amazing. It is a great place to capture images from out of this world. Just as a bonus, along the way to White Pockets on Highway 89A, you'll find the Cliff Dwellers. This is located in the Marble Canyon and it was built in the 1920s by a couple that was looking for a better life. This is a roadside attraction, but it is worth a stop. It is really cool to be able to see this structure still standing a hundred years later. It makes me wonder about this couple that moved here because I would imagine a hundred years ago, there is less here than there is now. And there's not much here right now. Coming in at number five is Mays Rock. Mays Rock is just north of White Pockets. This is an incredible place to see petroglyphs. I heard there's the most well-preserved petroglyphs in this area. These petroglyphs were carved into the rocks. Uh, according to the studies from the Anasazi Indians that roamed this area between 850 AD and 1300 AD. It is a bit of a hike and a climb to get to, but it is totally worth it. And then number six on the list is Wire Pass to Buckskin Gulch. This is a perfect alternative if any of the Antelope Canyons are busy. This slot canyon is located just a couple of hours north of Page. The trailhead is located at the same place where you would take the famous wave hike. But if you can't get the permits to do the wave, I highly recommend this hike as an alternative. To get to this canyon, you hike about a mile and then there it is. This is not the longest slot canyon in the world and it's not the tallest slot canyon in the world, but it is the longest, tallest slot canyon in the world. And then number seven on the list, of course, if you're in Page, Arizona, I highly recommend an aerial tour. This is the best way to see this whole area, flying above the buttes, flying above Horseshoe Bend and up above Lake Powell, just has an incredible feeling and the views are amazing. Prices start about $160 per person and it's just something that you'll never forget. Landing on top of this butte is something that's been on my bucket list and I am so glad I finally scratched it off. It was a great experience and I highly recommend it. This helicopter ride is a great way to look down at the earth and get a completely new appreciation for all these features and, and especially the size and shape of Lake Powell. Flying around the canyons, it's incredible. And with this epic flight, it is time to end. My name is Charles Wallards. My channel is Wallards Photography and thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing, clicking the thumbs up and I will see you on the next video. Bye. Up there and having the wind, it was just Charles Wallers, my number, my number is nine seven. So let's start the count. So let's start this countdown with the first.